Americas. Courage. Determination. Gulda, the ultimate. According to legend, the great Maximilian hid the recipe for the ultimate beer inside his golden helmet, which was later found by the Order of Heroes. Presently, this brew is now enjoyed by millions. But what was unknown to the Order of Heroes then was that Maximilian had not one, but two golden helmets, and each had a piece of the secret hidden inside. The second helmet was hidden at the place of the Forest Mountains, a more treacherous territory now known as Egbertois Forest. Due to the unmistakable importance of this year's search, the Order of Heroes have decided to send ten champions, not contenders, but champions, to go in search of the second golden helmet. The ten champions must be selected from thirty brave contenders after undergoing the most grueling series of tasks. The thirty contenders must first be led into the dark forest in three batches of ten contenders each. The first batch must complete its task and leave the forest before the second batch arrives. Only three worthy champions must be picked from each batch of ten contenders. The Order of Heroes, for the first time ever, will give the audience the opportunity to vote back in one contender out of the seven evicted contenders. The audience have only 24 hours to vote. At the end of the third batch of ten contenders, nine champions and the three contenders voted back in from the three batches must emerge. The three contenders must undergo a task and the best amongst them must join the nine champions. The champions, now ten in number, must go back into the forest to search for the second golden helmet. The champion who returns with the golden helmet will become the ultimate hero and will be celebrated in a party fit for kings, where the secret hidden inside the helmet must be read out. Amongst other treasures, they will be awarded the golden helmet and will proudly join the archives of the League of Ultimate Knights. Thus, the Gulda Ultimate Search... The Contest of Champions begins. Welcome again to the Golden Ultimate Search Season 8, The Contest of Champions. I am Bob Manuel Udoku, your host. Today is the big day, the day our first batch of 10 contestants will enter the jungle for seven days. This, of course, will be followed by two more batches of 10 where the last three contenders standing will go into the Contest of Champions. That gives us a total of nine champions, but we are looking for ten. This is where you, the viewers, come in. You, the viewers, will vote in three people who had previously been evicted from the show to come back and compete for that one slot on the very first day of the contest of champions. One individual will stay, and two will be sent back home. Now, we have our ten champions. Before we welcome them into the jungle, they have some very important people to meet. So let's join them there for their last brush with civilization before we leave them to their own devices.
fashion designer. In the fashion world, they expect, you know, glamour and, you know, it to be really fragile, to be all about fashion alone. Well, there's two sides to me. I'm a fashion designer. I love all that. I love the designs and all. I love being creative. But the other side to me is I'm really strong. I persevere and I'm determined. Uh, I'm planning on being myself. That's my strategy. And that pretty much works. I've been working since, so that's, that's it. The general approach to life is just go just go in and see what happens. Beauty not only lies on the outside, it's also from the inside. If you get to know me as a person, you fall in love with me at first sight, trust me. <laughs> uh, in the jungle, I hope to bring out the other part of me, but you know, the whole village like cooking with firewood, Cots and grasses and screaming at snakes. <laughs>
Beware. Watch out for this underdog. I really don't want to think of failure because I, I, I don't deal with that. You know, I know I'm going to make it and I'm going to be the, you know, the winner. <laughs> In the jungle, I look forward to seeing a lot of creatures and um, scary creatures. I lost my twin brother last year. He died uh, due to cancer. After a long battle with the illness, he finally passed away. It's very painful though, I miss him a lot. I mean, every day, but it's, it's kind of been his death, his passing. is like my motivation, like a driving force. Like every day, I want to succeed just for him. If I set my mind to do something, I always do it. I'll I love challenges. I want to prove to the world out there that, that it all takes courage and determination to get to, to achieve your tasks. I want to learn how to adapt, with, for more especially my fellow contestant. We thank you because we know you are going to be our keepers for the next few days. Extra carefully selected. Premium Bali. The finest of hops. And the purest of waters. Extra matured is the extra time taken to brew the ultimate beer. Enjoy the extra matured taste from the ultimate beer. Gilda, the ultimate. Drink responsibly. I've had time to assess all of them even before we got here. So I already know who's going to go out and who's going to stay in. So uh, most of them are, are very weak because like, they haven't been in this kind of situation before, this kind of position. So I'm going to just use that to my advantage and take them down and just go in. I've learned not to underestimate anyone because you don't know what anyone is going to do. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know their physical strength. You don't know their inner strength. It's when we get to the jungle, that's when you see all the real people. You see what we are cap capable of. My greatest enemy would be um, Kevin, Kevin Dust. Well, uh, I think Kevin has got good looks. I think he's also intelligent as well. Uh, it's, it's, I see him as a threat, basically. Right. Now that we've taken care of all the formalities, it is now time for the real deal. I mean, it's time for the games to begin. I am standing a few kilometers away from the place where they'll be setting up their base camp. Their first task when they find the place will, of course, be to build their camp. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Oh, yes. Let's hope it doesn't rain. No, I'm very much excited to go into the jungle. I'm actually scared of going into the jungle because of the food situation. I mean, that's a serious problem because I love food. Seriously. Most times, sometimes I eat like eight times a day because of my athletic nature. But um, I'm going to live with the little I have in there. That's why I really want to cook the food. <laughs> I'm aware that I will not have any food to eat. That's OK. I've done this before. It's nothing new to me, so it's OK. Then the moment of truth arrives. After hobnobbing with politicians and chiefs and being treated as royalty, it is finally time for our contestants to enter the jungle. Geraldine, Promise, Betty, Samuel, Kevin, Franklin. <laughs> 
our first bunch of ten contestants. I know I'm not among the weakest, obviously. Um, actually, might not be the strongest, but I'll be the conniest. Still armed with their luggage, they set off to find Bob Manuel. Um, I think Anastasia is going to go out first. I think Geraldine is going to go first. Geraldine. Betty already needs help. Her bag is too bulky. This is our group. <laughs> it's tough. So we'll be evicted first. I can't really point out, but I know <laughs> it wouldn't be me. Ah, here they are. Yeah, nicely. Over there, your lineup. Well, good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. Sir. Welcome to the moment of truth in the Golder Ultimate Search Season 8, Contest of Champions. So how was your journey here? Can they talk to me? It was a long climb up. A long climb up? Yeah. Ah, Betty. Tiring. Tiring it's already? Ah, promise. It was very hectic. Hectic. Kevin? Exhausting, but piece of cake. Piece of cake. Ah, I like that. You know, have you all eaten this morning? Uh, <laughs> 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 now, reality is beginning to dawn on you. Like I always say in the Golder Ultimate Search, you expect the unexpected. I mean, you guys beat more than 20,000 people to be here this morning, and you are in the contest of champions, so I see you all as potential champions in your own right. So food shouldn't be a problem, will it? No, no, ah, ah. I see you all are well turned out this morning. I mean, the guys have nice haircuts and beautifully carved beards. The girls are looking very pretty with makeup and jewelry. Oh, you also came with your, your bags, personal effects. But I, I'm sorry, I'm going to disappoint you at this moment because uh, where you're going, you wouldn't be needing any of this. As you can see in front of you are 10 bags, rock sacks containing what we feel are the bare essentials that you'll be needing in the jungle. What you have in those bags will aid your quest in the search to be the ultimate hero. It's almost a tradition that on the first day of the Golder Ultimate Search, it rains. And looking up in the sky, it's uh, already drizzling. What do I say? This is welcome from the elements. You can remove your wristwatches. The ladies can keep their jewelries if they feel they need them in the jungle, but I'm sure you don't need makeup where you're going. And you leave your bag there, money, anything you feel that you don't need in the jungle, you leave them there, we'll take adequate care of them. You step forward and pick up your bags, then go back to position number one. Do that right now. Come on, take your bags. Quickly, quickly. If you find a bag that is not yours because they're clearly marked with your names, then you look for the owner and give them the bag. Nice one, Sam. Nice one. There's still one machete here waiting for somebody to pick it up. Oh, right, that's good. I have always observed that people will pick up their bags and they leave the machete. When you get into the jungle, you find out that you've made a big mistake if you didn't go with the machete. You all have bags now? Yes, sir. Are you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, get your bags nicely strapped at your back. Make yourself comfortable. It's a long journey, a few kilometers from here. So the more comfortable you are with the positions of your bags, the better for you. Are we all ready now? Yes, sir. Kane Day. You're still fiddling with the straps. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Well, I guess this is it, gentlemen and ladies. 
This is what you all have been waiting for. What you have all been wishing for for so many years. Now you have it. So go and fulfill your dream. Go, on, my people. When you find the place where you build your camp, please do so. I will be there later in the day to monitor your progress. I wish you all Godspeed as you go into this adventure, this epoch making adventure that will affect your lives forever. It will change who you are for the rest of your lives. Good luck. Go this way. <laughs> the very first batch of 10 contestants in Goldor Ultimate Search Season 8, the Contest of Champions, are now heading into the jungle. See you later. Termination. I have a father that from a tender age allowed us to make our choices in life. Okay, I, I grew up um, with my mother like at least 15, 12, 12 to 15 years of my life because my dad died and everything. And that's been pretty hard on me because I didn't know anything. She couldn't teach me what a man should be teaching me. So I, I didn't know anything. Growing up, it wasn't, my, my dad left like really early. Like they separated, something happened and you know. But it wasn't, it wasn't really difficult. My mom was amazing, he's amazing. This is the first of three batches of contestants of 10 people each. Each of these three groups of 10 will be whittled down to three people to give us a total of nine contestants. These nine will then be joined by three contestants who are voted back in by you, the viewer. Move it. Well, living with my dad, it has been quite challenging because he has to play two roles. He has to play the role of a father and he has to play the role of a mother. And Anytime he gets to play the role of a mother, he's always whiny. He's always complaining. He's always worried, and he plays that role quite well. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but it's quite, it's quite difficult. Well, um, I live in a single home, just with my mom, and um, she was ill for a while before she passed, uh, passed away. And um, I've been struggling since then, that's since 2000, August 2nd. But uh, my, my uh, mother's family has been there, you know, they, they've been there for me. But um, I also struggled on my own. I had to go to school part-time, I had to work, I had to pay my school fees. 
you know. And I also have a younger brother, you know, that I have to cater for. So I'm really strong. My parents are happily married. I'm still going now into the forest. <sighs> I'll be the strongest. I am the strongest. <laughs> right from the rocks all the way up. We had to walk, climb through all the bushes, the scratchy, scratchy bushes. The journey, the journey has been, and I had it first to go in into the forest, like straight into the forest. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's like reality has just begun to dawn on me. This isn't a joke, it's for real. Seriously, that's all I can say for now. It's hectic, it's crazy. Trying to find our way to the camp and it's really, really wild. We've been walking like, I don't know, like 10 kilometers or something. It's been mad. They eventually find the place where they have to build their camp. I love cooking, like love, love cooking. But that doesn't mean in the jungle they would um, take advantage of that. If people expect me to be in the kitchen, then they have something else. Because most times guys could just go like, hey yo, go make dinner. Like, it's, it's your job. Like, you know. I wouldn't take that at all. It's just going to be a lot of confusion in the jungle. Who's going to cook and cook this? If, my, if I cook and it ain't good, I don't want nobody complaining, so I'm just gonna, you know, try and not cook. It will really take much from me, but I'm gonna be doing all the cooking and then they are doing all the eating. And it's not gonna be fair too. I like to taste someone else's cooking. The question is always, where do I begin? And the answer is always easy. At the beginning. This has to be transformed into a living area, a sleeping area, and a cooking area. I think I'm able to, you know, influence people and, you know, calm them down and, you know, think rationally. I feel I'm good at discerning to know what tax is to be done and how it should be done. seems to be a lot of standing around. No one knows how to start. I think the jungle will, will not affect me because I have an endurance spirit and I have the ability to go without food for days. I mean, I schooled in Maiduguri and uh, during the crisis, we used to go without food for two, three days and I was pretty fine. So I think the jungle won't do me any much harm. Then, uh, and some more standing around. Then the first action. And if you think I'm thinking too much about something, I'm either not thinking about it, you know, and I might just be acting like as if I'm thinking. So I'm kind of like controversial, you know. You just need to study me very well to know what I'm actually doing, you know. So I'm just going to be me. So from here now, for the roof. roof. So what we do with you 
The reason why I wanted to build the roof is that everybody just concentrating on building the um, foundation and um, other stands. But I have to do something different. I have to do something so that we can get everything done at the same time. It's almost getting late and we have not achieved anything. If I'm able to get my opinion of you, maybe when you're playing a little bit of game, I could use it against you somehow. But when you put so many people from so many different backgrounds together, there's bound to be differences as to how the shelter should be built. I have absolutely no plan. I'm just going in head straight and it's going to take it like that. Well, I'm, I'm going to go into the jungle, basically. Just be myself. Yes. From, from this back <laughs> down here. I'm really this muscle in the front. Okay, okay, get my point now. Thank you both because basically I think the it's, it's, it's like definitely the men taking control of the situation. So maybe the like this. this way. And then I would even say if you get rough head, probably we'll do a gully. 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 It's not be easy. It's not be easy at all. I, me being a city boy, you know, a hustler and all that, coming to the jungle, man. I never thought it would be like this. The long one. See my point. See my point. We could do it like this and dig, eh? And put it inside like this. How? Is this man supposed to be on the floor? The man supposed to be on the floor. I down the floor in the room. Well, I think um, the others might listen to me when I try to calm them down because I'm really rational. Whatever I say would make sense. Please listen up. Everybody cannot deliberate. If we all stand here and say, plan what we want to do, this place is not going to clear itself, really. I thought so, that was why we handed over now. I, to hand it over to who? Yeah. Two of us cannot clear the place alone. So maybe some people should still pack. Yeah, maybe the girls, we, we are trying to build something here. Yeah, I understand, we can talk and work at the same time now, maybe. Yeah, yeah. While some are working, some are standing watching them do it. When I slept that way, it was soft and nice. And if you sleep this way, okay, you just get up, get up, get up, get up. So now you can calculate the weight now, chill now, the diameter. I'm just having a little problem with uh, um, the same person I've always had a problem with, Geraldine. I just wish she would, uh, she would calm down and actually listen to what every other person has to say because presently she's building the roof when we don't even know how long the you know house is going to be, how, how long the campsite is going to be and then she's, she, we don't know unless she was cut and then they kept cutting the roof materials and then it's just, it's just crazy. Can you start digging? What should we do? Uh, where dig your grave. Shall we Not start digging? <laughs> where should we dig? Where we dig? A lot of instructions <laughs> and few people <laughs> executing <laughs> them. Is this a sign of things to come? <laughs> okay, We're on the walls. Sorry, the girls are in space. So far, it's been... Um, it's not been so bad, it's okay. I just don't like people arguing up and down, but we settled that. So we all, we all have a game plan now, we we'll know what to do. It's okay. Slowly but surely, a plan is starting to form. And what I'm 
saying it. Okay, fine, we are supposed to join this one, but this one is not long enough. That's what I'm saying. Down here. Okay, I'm sorry. See, it's working. What are you saying? Warm. 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 <laughs> there are a couple of the men that I think are good looking and strong. Oh, but sexy now, nah, keep that on the other side, no. When the rain comes, you go high for you, rain goes in and knock you. Ah, no, no. You, 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 under the guidance of Franklin, the city boys and girls have learned to do something they've never done before. Kevin, what are you doing? Are you serious? You know what? Maybe you should pack it up. He's trying. He's trying to change into his nightie. Um, the atmosphere at camp right now is it's uh, pretty much playful. It's just playful right now. Nobody's really. People are serious right now, even the building is still a joke, but uh, I think in the next couple, like the next hour, if we're not done with the camp, it's gonna go get a little rowdy. <laughs> Alvin is already establishing himself as the camp clown. <laughs> Now roof remain. We got over the roof. And I saw roof up. Now. What's it? I want to under. The manager director of roofing. I want as what you want to. I want to. No, now you say it's a bit of roof. No, now what you get? Okay, what do you get? I know it's a bit of roof. What's it? No, now it's a bit of roof. You guys, before the match, let's look for that. So just something like you have to. You have to. Just kind of. Like a cow moon coat lamp. Where is your cut lamp? Right here. You don't hold lamp. Right. Where, where is it? No, 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 I know, I know, cut them, I just did mark them. Okay, don't do that. No, carry on. Betty is keeping a watchful eye on the construction. Yeah. This is where anything that's coming, this is where it's coming from. Roof maker. So, so, how are we not going to enter that one? We go internal. This one we don't go internal. Just. Now the one where they do this. 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 Now the one Trials, challenges, drive, focus, courage, determination. Golda, the ultimate. In the camp on their first day in the jungle, our first batch of ten contestants are trying to shape their shelter. This shelter is supposed to be comfortable and watertight, as it will be protected from the rain and other elements. Well, hello. Then they get a surprise visit from Bob Manuel to check in are. on the progress. You're all so busy. 
with constructing your camp that you didn't even realize that I'm here. Come over. I see you have a structure up already. That's good. So how challenging was it, frankly, getting it up to this level? Uh, yes, it wasn't easy. You know, we had different opinions. Okay. So we had to compromise one way or the other. Ah, I see. Yeah. yeah. But are you sure that this is what you are aiming to get? Uh, we would manage. With a compromise, you... One star hotel. Or you had a different design in mind than we somebody else? We had a one star hotel in mind. And, yeah. uh, one star? Half, yes. Half star. And now it's beginning to turn half to... Star, half star. Half star. It's half now. Half, it's okay. half now, but... Uh, now it's half star there. hotel. Yeah. But you're aiming at one star. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All is that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's almost done. It's I'm almost done. To, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be a one star Kevin. when we're done. You agree with that? I agree. I agree. One star hotel, and now it's half. <laughs> One star. We're in the jungle, so that's, that's really good. So how's the experience been so far, you know, trying to get this structure up? Uh, tough, very huh? Challenging. Very tough. Ah, very challenging. Very challenging. Very challenging. Mm. Well, almost true. Well, no, not bad, but uh, I, I just wonder it. if uh, your roof can keep away the rain. I mean, given that the sky is overcast. We'll probably put a mark on it. You put a mat on the roof? Yeah, mm -hmm. You think this mat I'm seeing here will stop the rain from coming in? I don't in? think we have anything, anything yeah. to... We'll just add more room. Innovation. You can use the tart. Hmm? You can use what? We can use the tart. Let's see if we can arrange it. Okay, there's a way you can arrange it. I believe... I believe without thinking. If we put our heads together, our good heads together. Have you weaved tart before? <laughs> well, no. we have some experts no. here. We have some experts. She says she's an expert. And Anastasia. Oh, Anastasia. Yeah. Talented. Geraldine. 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 Yes. yes. Oh, you have a... No wonder you have a <laughs> weave off. <laughs> so sad. No, is it braid? Mm -hmm. But you haven't done that before, no. weaving mat for no, just roof? No, an idea. Just an idea? Yeah. Uh, has anybody done that before? No. 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 Not at all. Mm. <laughs> well, pray. Oh. Pray hard, because uh, if it rains tonight, mm -mm. I just wonder what you guys are going to do. But it's okay. The, the effort is worth commending. You guys are really doing well, okay? Thank you. Uh, have you had time to eat? No. 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 no food still you for didn't find lunch. food? At all. We're waiting. We're, waiting. We're hoping. <laughs> We're hoping. <laughs> You're waiting for who? We're hoping. We're hoping. Oh, the waiters. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> for the Half Star Hotel. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What happens if they don't turn up tonight? Mm -hmm. ah. I'm going to have to rough it. Actually, huh? we haven't... We haven't Thought about, about food. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so to to but you see, the, the jungle is filled with natural food, you know. Mm. Except mm. that maybe finding that wouldn't be easy. Mm. Are you telling me you are still hungry? Um, no. Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Those who are hungry, raise up your hand. Okay. I'm sorry. I have to join them. Okay, <laughs> Indy. <laughs> you said that you weren't hungry. Now you raise your hand. Okay, halfway. I, I was trying to be strong, actually. You, <laughs> it was not working. All right, I'm There's sure no you point. guys are going to be fine. This is what the good or ultimate surgery is all about. I mean, see how far you can go. Yeah. Extraordinary people, that's what you are. Remember, yeah. you were chosen from more than 25,000 people. Mm. So we expect you to be strong. Even if you don't have food for two days, we expect you to go on. Yeah. But just pray, just pray it doesn't rain tonight. Mm. Yeah. It's okay, you can go back to work. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, they all kept on saying that they love adventure. Kept on saying that they want to be in the jungle. Now, they are here. <laughs> well, let's see with time if they will like the jungle as much as they thought they would. We'll be here again tomorrow to see how far they have gone, because tomorrow is when the real fun begins. See you then. Good night. We've built our tent. To us, we believe we built that tent, but to me, I feel we've not built it. We had a lot of arguments. Where, where should we put this? Where should we put that? But I think at the end of the day, we could come up with a structure. But the major stuff that we need to look at in the jungle, I don't know why we can't, we're not looking at it there the roof. Our roof will not hold because if it rains, it's definitely getting to the, the house and we'll all get wet, our things will get wet, but we have no choice. We still need to rebuild it though. We just did that to, you know, sleep tonight. 
In their rush to build a shelter, they haven't even checked to see what is in their backpacks. With a basic structure in place, they now explore their jungle survival kit. Oh, this is cool. Awesome. I believe people should watch me on the program because I'm probably or most probably the most entertaining person on this show right now. People should watch me on TV because I have a story to tell. I bring drama. I'm beautiful. I'm crazy. Make them laugh. And to an extent, I sing. Extra carefully selected. Premium Bali. The finest of hops. And the purest of waters. Extra matured is the extra time taken to brew the ultimate beer. Enjoy the extra matured taste from the ultimate beer. Gouda, the ultimate. Drink responsibly. As night falls, our ten contestants finally come to rest after a long day of walking and building. It's their first night here. What does the future hold? Rain, of course. After the warning that the roof isn't waterproof and the contestants deciding it was fine for one night, the inevitable happens. Don't talk to us like that. You are the one that didn't want to contribute into this matter. See now the roof of the house. You look like this. You look bright now. Sure, and you look for Anta. Anta, be. I did smell him. Let's see a pull leg on top. Open your bag. Open your bag. Open your bag. See, no be me this. And the ants start moving in. Well, they came looking for adventure, and that is what they find. 